Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do not know, content in the UK releases, obviously it's 6pm. In New Zealand, we are 11 hours ahead, ahead, so this released at 5 in the morning. I set an alarm for 5.55 to check the content in case there was anything worth. I was watching TKS's stream, if you guys know him. He was checking the SBCs in there, and then someone in the chat said there's an Emile Smith Rowe and the Eddie Nikita dynamic duo. I did see a leak on Twitter a few days ago. I wasn't sure how reliable this is, and as you guys know, I'm a massive Arsenal fan. Now, the one thing with these is I was a little bit confused because obviously Eddie Nikita, I like him, but obviously with a dynamic duo, you're, you're kind of expecting it to be maybe ESR and Saka or ESR and Martinelli because they kind of, you know, in real life are much closer. But hey, I'm not going to complain, lads. It's two more Arsenal cards for the past and present. So, boys, welcome to another objectives guide. If you're new to these, I'm going to go over all these objectives, give you guys my tips and tricks to complete these fast. And I'm going to go ahead and build you guys a team between 30 and 40,000 coins to get them done. Let's get into it, boys. They have finally given us an online objective. I believe it passed, I think, eight or nine objectives. I think starting from, I was like, Belot Gosens and then obviously all of the footies ones were actually squad battles objectives So we finally got an objective to complete online Starting off score two outside of a box goals in the live foot friendly premier potential Which we'll have a look at the requirements in a minute score a finesse goal using English forwards in five separate wins So you do have to win it um, once again in premier uh, potential score 15 goals in the live foot friendly Which will come easily assist with through balls using premier league cams in three separate matches now um, Some people do mess up with this if you play a centre mid at cam, it will not work. A CDM or obviously a cam at centre mid, it will not work. It has to be a cam in the cam position. I'm not too sure. Like if you play like a a cam in a centre mid, I, I, I'm not. I'm not too sure. But you need to basically have it as a starting position, saying cam. And I'm assuming you'd have to start him in the cam position, all right? And, and then score using footies Nikita in nine separate matches. And obviously you do unlock Eddie Nikita uh, after scoring a finesse goal using English forwards in five separate matches. So you really just want some English forwards up front until you can get obviously Eddie And then after five games as soon as you get Eddie You'll be able to get the score using Eddie in different games So it's nine games scoring with Eddie five games to get Eddie meaning this is a 14 games objective And then obviously you un will unlock Smith Rowe So 19 games if you do do golden goal, which is maybe tip number one if you guys don't know golden goal It's not necessary. So I'm not going to count it as a tip um, because obviously I don't expect people to be doing golden goal lads. I'll probably say like 50% of people will because genuinely there's, there's lots of objectives to get done. So some people might want to quit, some people won't. If you are wanting to play golden goal yourself, don't pause it for them. Don't, you know, celebrate. Just let them quit if they want to quit and if they want to play it out, fair enough because there is a lot of objectives to get done. So lads, let's go ahead and take a look at the premier potential game mode and then we will obviously build a team for 30,000 coins if you guys do want. Obviously it's best just to, you know, build your own team, search for English players in your club but like i said that squad builder is always for the people that may not have it so premier potential at least three clubs and at least six premier league players so genuinely lads the first thing you want to do is search your club for premier league players you need at least six clubs which you should be able to get anyway so for example search your club uh and this okay for example we've already got kieran tierney so he's my first prem player we've got vvd we've got bruno fernandez and wan -Bissaka. so i've already got basically four premier league players on my bench but obviously we'll still do the squad builder but make sure just search your club i've got odegaard as well i've got regulon i believe it is the port Hector, I've even got Joe Willock. So, you know what I mean, boys? It suits your club so you can kind of build a good Premier League team. But like I said, this squad builder is for those of you that maybe only have 30,000 coins and not too much great players in the club. So let's get to the squad builder. Hey boys, welcome back to the video. Obviously, we've whipped up a squad and this is coming in at roughly 30 to 35,000 coins. The players bringing in the price up will be the 82s and 83s right now due to 83s being relatively inflated. 82s, I'm not too sure if they still are. But I know Joe Gomez, he should be in packs in less. Okay, so he's around 8,000 coins, which isn't too bad for Joe Gomez. But as you can see, lads, obviously, you hopefully you got some better English players in the club. But as I said, for, this is the third time saying it now, because I do get people wondering about this. This is a squad builder for the more casuals, just in case, obviously, you don't have a team. So I've gone for a 4 triple 2 formation. I just find it's very, very good attacking-wise, and you want to be getting goals. It's not games. You don't necessarily have to win the games. There's only, what, a score in five separate wins. So you only need to win five out of 14. So it's not too necessary. And I feel like... 4 triple 2 very attacking great going forward really well balanced as well and I feel like you obviously score a lot more goals with this formation than if you had like a classic 4-3-1-2 or 4-4-2 so we've gone for a 4 triple 2 formation now the Premier League English strikers is actually really limited you've got Antonio 
Calvert Lewin, Danny Ings, and I think it is Watkins, I believe. And then obviously you've got the the Jamie Vardy and Harry Kane and all of that. So left striker have gone for Antonio. High high work rates, four star skill moves, uh, three star weak foot, not too big of a deal. He, he's got 85 paces, shooting's nothing crazy. Right striker have gone for Danny Ings, who's not that fast, but once again you really want you can't just go with one English player because you don't need like two or three. But we're literally just going with two just to be safe. All you got to do with the English player lads is score a finesse goal with them. Left Cam, we have gone for Phil Foden because of the right or just Cam in general. Uh, Cam type of wingers are very limited. You do not have too much, you know, Cams with lots of pace. You've got Foden, Mounts, Madison. But left uh, Cam, we've gone for Phil Foden. Right Cam, we've gone for Almiron. He's got the skill moves, the work rates. His balance is terrible. His pace is all right, though. CDM, we've gone for Fred, which if you guys remember him from the beginning of the game. And I actually... I actually really see the suit in packs, so I'm not going to lie. Um, so I don't know how much he is. I'm assuming he's a few K, um, but still... Unreal card, high, high, four star, four star, all that good stuff. Now, the other CDM appeared him up with, usually I would say Gwendozi, but I think his Arsenal card is actually quite expensive now because he's got like a Herfa Berlin card still. Uh, so Gabarman, I believe it is pronounced, uh, is, is, is a CDM partnership. Left back, we've gone for Regulon. Centre back, we've gone for the Rat. Joe Gomez paired with Damison Sanchez. Right back, we've just gone for Hector Bellerin because he's obviously got the decent pace. And in net, we have gone for Nick Pope. Now, you need at least six Premier League players as well. So also, if you do have any icons in your club, I would recommend using them. There's not a requirement. It doesn't have to be a full prem. But just, you know, search your club. Uh, for example, Prime Michael Moments in the club, I could have, uh, I could chuck Yashin in there. I could chuck Eto up front if I wanted to. If you have English icons, then perfect. Ian Wright would be class with the English objectives. So, boys, going to tip number one, it is simply going to be filling the bench out. If you do go ahead and build this team, tip number one, there's no bench requirements, I don't think. I don't think his Premier League bench, all it says is at least six in the starting squad. So you can fill the bench out with your best players to obviously sub on straight away, which is absolutely perfect. Now, lads, tip number two, and I say this every single damn time, I am not sponsored by Footbin. I wouldn't mind being sponsored by Footbin, but I am definitely not sponsored by Footbin. I'm just using this app as an example because it's a really good app. You can get it on the PC or phone, and basically it tells you how much your card is. You can apply chem style, see what rating they go to in-game. It's a really good app for, obviously, FIFA information. I'm not going to link it in the description because because I do not want this to come around acting like I'm promoting it. Genuinely, it's just a good app that I use and lots of other content creators use. But let's tip number two. Let's take not. Let's take Antonio, for example. So I'm going to search Antonio up on the PC. Obviously, like I said, you can get it on your phone and all that good stuff as well. So Antonio, I think I spelled his name wrong. Um, basically, you can apply the Kim Styles to them and see what he goes to in game. Michael Antonio, all right. So he's 78 rated, yeah? And now in game, he's 78 rated. There's 77 rated center forward. Let's go for a Hunter. So with a Hunter, he gets a plus 10 pace and he goes to 92 acceleration at 97 sprint speed, a plus 10 finishing from 75 to 85. And in game, he goes to an 82 rated striker. So basically with a Hunter applied, he will act as if he's an 82 rated card in game. Marksman, he goes to an 83 rated striker. He doesn't get a pace boost. He has a plus nine dribbling a plus five uh, physical and a plus eight shooting. And obviously you can do this with lots of cards. Danny Ings as well. Obviously is an 88 rated uh, gold rare in game. And by the way, Antonio is 1.5k on the market. Danny Ings 1.3. Chuck a Hunter on him. He goes from an 80 to an 84 rated in game. So you guys get the gist. Uh, tip number two is chemistry styles. I think Hunters are right. Are very cheap. I think you should just go buy it. If you don't have Hunters in your club, which you should. If you don't, just go buy them. I think they're like 500 a piece. Just buy two Hunters for both your strikers. Uh, your cams aren't too necessary. Obviously, you don't want to go out and, you know, purposely buy Shadows for two, two and a half K each. Chem Styles... Obviously, it matters, and it will make them feel better, but don't go out of your way to spend an extra 10 to 15k on shadows and all of that. It doesn't have to be the correct, correct chem style. Genuinely, any chemistry style is better than none. Now, tip number three is literally going to be golden goal, and this is optional. As I said, if you guys want to play golden goal, you can commit to golden goal. If you guys don't know what golden goal is, basically, you've probably heard about it. When you score, usually your opponent will quit. If your opponent scores first, you'll quit. Just so you can keep going, just, you know, keep repeating the games, and if you lose, you quit. If, if, you're, if you go one nil up, you hope your opponent quits. Now, this is only optional, lads. You do not have to do golden goal whatsoever. If you are someone to, wanting to do golden goal, just please don't be toxic about it. Please do not, you know, 
pause for your opponent, obviously, I mean, some people don't care if you pause for them, but some people do find it rude, which is understandable, do not celebrate, don't play toxic, if you score first, skip the goal, if he quits, he quits, if he doesn't, he doesn't, so if you want to commit to golden goal, obviously, if it is there, I do think it is a lot faster, personally, myself, I'll probably be doing golden goal for some of them, and obviously, you, you just, you know, if you've got some objectives, you have to get done, like, score the outside of the boxes, I mean, obviously, as well, you could just message your opponent and ask if you do an outside of the box goal each way, now, lads, once again, going back to the objective, you need at least six Premier League players, at least three clubs, and we're going to look back over the objectives just to, you know, kind of, uh, kind of, you know, confirm that this will work. So score two outside the box goals can be with any players. Like I said, you could message your opponent. Score a finesse goal using English forwards. Um, I, a cam is not a, a forward, so Phil Foden will not count. It has to be either Danny Ings or uh, Antonio if you have used my squad. Score 15 goals, which will get done first very easily because it's with any players in any game. Assist with through balls using Premier League cams. So now you need to try assist with either Phil Foden or obviously, I think it was Almiron. And obviously score using footies and Kieta, which you get after scoring a finesse goal with either Danny Ings or Antonio. Let's hopefully this could have helped you guys out. If it did, it make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, we're on a road to 7k and we've been growing like nuts, like 100 subs in the past, you know, for a few days. So thank you guys very much. We're continuing to grow and we want to try hit 7k before the end of FIFA 21. So any boy Davis... Like I said, hopefully this did help you guys out. Any questions down below, let me know. And until next time, peace out, boys.